Welcome everyone. Today I want to share a short warm up that I do to prepare my hips, core, and shoulders for my steel mace practices. This is a combination of stretches and movements that I like to use before I teach class, with the people I teach class in, and before I teach videos, and also before I do my own movement practices. So it's a really great uh, way for us to be able to prime our body, and let's dive right into it. We'll start on the floor and then we'll stand up uh, to do some of the upper body movements. So to begin, I'm just going to open up my legs into this butterfly and begin by taking a really nice full inhale, trying to grow taller and expand out. So inhale and then exhale all of our air out as we come over our feet, dropping our knees to either side, relaxing our head and neck. And you can take one more breath in and out here. Inhale back up. Then I'll bring my right leg, or whichever leg you'd like to start with, into a 90-90 stretch. And I want you to just take a second here to just check in with this particular posture. Open up your hips. And uh, I really like using the cues of kind of like rotating from one side to the other. And then also kind of leaning away from our legs. And all of these are just really good for being able to just drop into this position and open it up from a variety of angles. And finally, I'm just going to have us come down over our front leg here, opening up our glute for about two rounds of breath in and out. You can inhale back up. You can bring your leg back through butterfly and then we'll do the same exact thing with our opposite leg. So drop into that 90-90 stretch and just check in with this posture. You can move your pelvis around. You can rotate from side to side. You can lean away. Just take a couple seconds here and just opening things up in this particular position. And then we'll move into that last stretch over our front leg for two rounds of breath in and out. Once again, inhale back up, come back through our center in butterfly. And now we're gonna do the same 90-90 position, but more actively. So this is a really great way for us to actually engage our hips instead of just stretching them out. So from my 90-90, what I like to do is I'm going to actively bring one leg out to the side into 90-90, trying to internally rotate my hip as I do so. And then I will simply drop into this position and then drop my opposite side elbow straight down. It should be right outside my thigh and the elbow should be near my body. And then from here, I'm gonna push between my elbow and my knee and push up. And this kind of interesting side plank, I believe a Copenhagen plank, is a really cool one for activating our hips. And then I'll push up, lift my heel, come back through center, and then same thing on the other side. So I'll lift up very intentionally, drop my elbow, do my Copenhagen plank, just like a three or four count will even suffice. And then we'll pick our leg up, come back through, and repeat. Drop that arm down. Relax. Try to go as slowly as you can in all of this. And continue. Drop that arm down. Beautiful. We're gonna do one more on each side here. So lift that up, drop the elbow, relax back down, intentionally come back through butterfly and our last leg here. Drop the elbow, push up and relax. Beautiful. So now we have actively opened up and strengthened our hips here. 
And next, I'm going to have a switch position to sit back on our heels. And this is just going to be a nice quad stretch to start things out. And we also can progress it if you feel like you'd like more of a stretch to have our hands pointing behind us, slightly tilting my gaze up. And then I'm gonna slightly tuck my pelvis. You might feel more of a stretch, stretch through your quads here. And then I'll activate one glute at a time to push up that side hip. Relax it back down and repeat on the other side. And continue alternating. And you'll get a really nice stretch through your quad, your hip flexor, and you're activating your glutes. One more on each side. Beautiful, relax back down. And from here, you can hop up onto your feet. I'm probably getting out of frame, <laughs> but I'm gonna drop back down into a runner's lunge. Hopefully I'm still in frame. And you can drop all the way down if you'd like to. You can stay up. It's really entirely up to you. Whatever's going to help you continue to open up that hip flexor. So looking to open up the hip flexor of our straightened leg. Again, slowly tucking our pelvis. Nice full breaths in and out. We'll take one more breath. And then switch sides. So doing the exact same stretch on the other side, opening up our hips, dropping into the position, slightly tucking our pelvis. One more breath in and out. Beautiful. From there, you can come back to this particular position. And next we are going to do two short exercises to activate our core and our posterior chain. So one of which you can do a regular plank if you would like to, if that makes more sense to you. I really like doing an eight point plank. So what that means, I have eight points of contact on the ground. I'm setting my hands out in front, toes tucked, and I'm kind of in this like sphinx pose as you would in yoga. And you can also slide your elbows more forward to make this more challenging for your shoulders. So I'll look up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck my pelvis and pull my ribs in as I come up off the ground. So that's what this exercise is. So we're gonna go up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax back down. Same thing in three, two, one. Push up. Five, four, Three, two, one, relax back down. And one more. Three, two, one, push up. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful, so that's really good for getting our core going. Next, I'm gonna flip onto my back here and I'm gonna get into basically a glute bridge position. You'll see what I'm gonna do is gonna make this a little bit more unique. So, and also take it easy on this one. <laughs> if you can't do the furthest step out that I'm gonna show you, that's totally fine. You can stay in glute bridge. So I'm gonna drop back. I'm going to begin on my glute bridge, have my hands out to the side for um, stability, activate my glutes, and also don't judge me. I'm pretty new at this exercise, <laughs> getting better at it. And what I'm going to do from this activated position here is I'm going to slowly walk my feet away while trying to keep my hips as high as I can and having my pelvis tucked. And see if you can get onto your heels and then walk back up. Challenging exercise and we'll do one more walking out. I find that this is really good for my functional activation of my posterior chain. Getting my glutes and hamstrings working together. And you can relax back down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna hop up onto our feet and do some upper body stretches. Beautiful. So we should be feeling pretty alive in our lower body. You can also jump up and down and shake your legs out if you don't yet. 
I am going to go through a couple of upper body shoulder openers that I like doing. The first of which I will inhale my arms up overhead and then exhale down through cactus. And I'm looking to use this as an opportunity to drop into my body and my posture. So I really wanna be gripping the ground with my feet, soft bend in the knees, slightly tucking my pelvis under, nice long spine up through my crown and shoulder blades down and back. And then I'll inhale up and then down. Repeat. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. From here, you can shake that out. I am going to bring my arms out to the sides. I'm gonna flip my left palm down, and then I will lean with my right pinky towards the ceiling, and my left thumb will go down and back. So I'm making a coiling motion as I lean. So I'll lean into it. Unspool and re-spool the other way. And switch. 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 Last two here. One. Two. Beautiful. Drop your arms down, shake them out if you need to. Next up, I'm going to bring my hands, palms facing towards one another out in front of myself, thumbs pointing up. And all of that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one hand at a time, like I'm drawing a bow string, pulling it back, reaching straight back, and then my thumb will rainbow back to the front. And I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Nice and intentionally, rainbow back. And same thing, except this time, once I've finished my reach, I'm going to drop my hand down. Same thing on the other side. Drop your hand down. One more on each side, and this time, after I pull my hand back, I'm going to return the same way I came. So snaking my hand back to the front, and then once more on the other side, same thing. Beautiful. You can shake it out from there. I know our shoulders tend to burn on that one a little bit. I have three more total exercises for us, and then we'll be all finished with this warm up. The first, I'm gonna bring my arms back out to the sides, pinkies facing forward, roughly straight arms, but they don't have to be locked. And then I'm going to actively track my elbows and pinkies towards one another. And then I will pull my hands into heart center, pulling my shoulder blades back as I do so, and then repeating the same thing. So pinkies forward, arms come together actively, hands to heart center, pull the shoulder blades back. Three more. Last one. Relax down, and that should feel pretty good. Now we are going to move on to our last two exercises. One is just going to be very simple, it's spinal rotations. So I'll lead with my gaze towards the opposite back corner and just allow myself to flail wildly. And that'll really open up our spine. You can let that one go. <clears throat> Last one we're going to do real quick here, it's going to be decompression breaths. This is a really cool topic. The idea is essentially that we are trying to use our breath to inhale to make ourselves taller and expand out. And then as we exhale, we are looking to engage our core actively to cinch in and keep that height. So that's what we're aiming for here. And here is our setup. We are going to and bring our toes towards one another. Hopefully you can see that in camera. I'll try to step back in case you can't. So I'll point my toes slowly in towards one another. I'm going to bring my knees to touch and specifically I'm looking to try to squeeze my knees together like I'm trying to hold a piece of paper between them. Next, I'm going to slightly tuck my pelvis underneath. So I have, it's like slightly tucked under. And what I'm going to do finally here is I'm gonna feel my lower ribs, my upper pelvis. 
And this is going to allow me to measure how much I can expand and get taller as I breathe in. So we'll do four breaths together. You can exhale out now and inhale. Squeezing your knees and then exhale out. Keep that length. Three more, inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. And relax, beautiful. You can shake it out and do any other stretches or postures that you feel like you need to warm yourself up and you should be feeling very ready for your steel mace practice, your workout, whatever you've got going on next. So enjoy.